All right, so this is our quiz review for our quiz on Monday over sections 1.1 to 1.3. All right, uh, the first um, thing we need to know uh, for the quiz is just uh, this review of distributed property. I told you yesterday that's going to be a really big part of your quiz and your test is distributed property. Understanding that you can't combine like terms when they are, uh, I'm sorry, you can't combine what's inside parentheses when it's not like terms. X minus two are not like terms. So I distribute the number on the outside of the parentheses. Okay, go ahead and do uh, both of these and then we'll go over it. All right, uh, so let's say the first one together, negative three X plus six. All right, who got that right? Negative three X plus six, okay, good. All right, um, now on the next one, we have negative four X, is it plus eight or minus eight? Minus. minus eight, because it's a times one negative, and that's odd, so minus eight plus three X. Okay, so is this my final answer? No, because I can still combine my x's. What's negative 4 plus 3? Negative 1x. Negative 1x minus 8. Negative 1x minus 8. So that distributive property. Okay, next one, um, we're going to start solving equations. Okay, so I tried to kind of mirror the types of equations that you're going to see on your quiz and test. Um, so uh, let's just kind of work through these, all right? And remember, in all of them, I'm trying to solve for the variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first one. 3 fourths x equals 12. I need you to solve for x. All right, so 3 fourths x, what do I multiply by to solve? <clears throat> Oh, no. Reciprocal. Okay, I love that you're even using that word, right? Reciprocal is the flip. Okay, but then I have to make sure I do that to the other side, 4 over 3. Can I cross reduce? Yes. yes, by 4. Now, if you miss that, that's okay. As long as you reduce at the end, you'll still get the correct answer. X equals 16. Who got that right? Okay, very good. Um, now, on the next one, uh, what's step one? Someone raise your hand, Nick. You take the minus 10 and change it to plus 10. Very good. And cross out the 10, go to the other side, and make it 32. Yes, 2x equals 32. Mason, can you bring it home for me? What am I going to do last? Divide by 2. Divide by 2. And then 16. x equals 16. Oh, that's funny. The same answer on both of them. Okay, just very different... Uh, I know, just hilarious, right? Okay, so very different work, but we ended up with the same answer on both. Anybody get that one right? Did you guys get that one? Okay. All right, so now we're going to see it's getting a little more complicated. This is more what we learned in section 1.3, all right, where we have variables on both sides of the equation. We even have a little bit of distributive property. Okay, so let's go ahead. Before we can start solving... We have to do this distributive property, and then we have to get the variables on the same side of the equation. All right, so let's work on that. Okay, 2n minus 6 equals 4n plus 1. All right, did you guys get that part, the distributive? Okay, so now what we learned yesterday is we have to look at which one of our n's is the smaller value. What is it? 2n. So that's the one we subtract to the other side. Okay, we want to do that so our, our number stays positive that's connected to the variable. All right, so now I have negative 6, you have to bring down the negative, equals 4n plus 1. Now what do I do to both sides? Uh, I mean you said 4 isn't it 2n? I'm sorry, 2n, 2n, 2n. Okay, equals 2n plus 1. Okay, now what do I do to both sides? Subtract one. Subtract one. All right, and I get seven equals two n and divide both sides by two. You can leave it, yes, you can leave it a fraction. You can leave it a fraction or you could say negative three and a half. Either one would be fine. Okay, 
All right, if you, if you messed up on it, you've got to catch where you messed up. All right, this video is going to be on YouTube, especially having this break over the weekend. You need to watch this again on Sunday. All right, just as a refresher. Okay, so now let's look at the next one. All right, 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 1. All right, so again, when I see these variables on both sides, I need to get them on the same side. So I have to decide which one is the smaller value? Deasia, which one's the smaller value? They're the same. Okay, so now our flags are going up, right? Anytime I see the exact same value, what do I know is going to happen when I try to cancel them out? They're both going to cancel out. They are both going to cancel out. Are you going to catch this on your quiz? Okay, so when they both cancel out, what's left? Is that true? No. So no solution. No solution. There is no answer. So don't force it and say, no, I have to find an answer. If your variables cancel, there is no solution. How do I know if it would be infinite solution? If you find the answer and then you can do it on both sides. Okay. If what's left is true. If I had said 1 equals 1 and it was true, it would be infinite solution or infinitely many solutions. Okay? All right. Does this look familiar? Yes. Solve. Basically, what I'm asking for on the quiz is for you to tell me what each angle measure equals. Well, in order to find that, you have to know what x equals. 3x, okay, what does x equal? 10, 20, 30? I'm not sure, okay? So what I have to do is find the combination of these angle measures and put it into an equation. Well, if I have an equation, that means I have to have a total. All right, so there's your hint. Let's see who can come up with their equation. All right, so Connor, what did you write for your um, equation? 3x plus 4x plus 5x equals 180. That's exactly right. Plus 4x plus 5x equals 180 because my rule says I can add all the angle measures together and it's going to equal 180. All right, so now, uh, Kelsey, what would I do next? What's my next step to solving for x? Could I do anything over here to kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, to combine those like terms, right? What's 3 plus 4 plus 5? They're all x's, so I can add them together. 12x. 12 12x. 12 so 12x equals 180. Oh, forgot my x. 12x equals 180. And then what do I do? Divide both sides by 12. And x equals 15 when I divide that. You might have to do that by hand on your quiz, that part. Okay? But this is not my answer. It's going to help me get my answer. Nick? Okay, so now you got to do it now. So if 1x equals 15, then you got to multiply it by 4. Yep. Then that equals 6. Okay, well, don't say that. Okay, so now everybody... Take your 15s and plug them back into the triangle because what I'm going to ask you on your quiz is what does each angle measure equal? So if you stop here on the quiz and you say 15 is my answer, that's not full credit because you didn't actually answer the question. So let's plug it in and find the measure of each angle. All right, guys, what's 3 times 15? 45. All right, what's 4 times 15? Okay, and what's 5 times 15? And guess what? If you were to add all those angle measures together, guess what it's going to equal? 180. 180. So that's a really easy way that you can check it. If you add them all together and you get any other number, you know you did something wrong. Okay, so that's the triangle. And then we're going to look at this last one. 
okay? This is kind of a challenge, and we're trying to bring these concepts together that we've learned. We're going to kind of do this in reverse. I want my answer to be three. I need some kind of an equation that I, it has to have a variable, okay? You cannot say x equals three, okay? Can't say that. It actually has to be an operation, all right? It can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, okay? But some combination of numbers where your answer will be three, okay? Are you following along? All right, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to give you some examples, all right? X plus two, okay? So you need some operation connected to X equals... What number do you think would need to go here that I could subtract two from and my answer would be three? Five. five. Okay, so if I put a five here and I subtract two, what's my answer going to be? Three. three, and that's what I want. Okay, so now let's do another one. X plus ten. Okay, hold on. Don't say it out loud. Write this down on your notes. What number would need to go on the other side in order for my answer to be 3? Josh? 13. Okay. So on your quiz on Monday, I'm going to ask you to give me an equation where your answer would be, it might be 4 on your quiz or 2 on your quiz. All right, so x equals 3 here. What about multiplication? What if I said... 2x equals, what number would I have to divide by 2 to where my answer would be my goal answer of 3? What number would I have to divide by 2? What number divided by 2? Yes, equals 3. So if I divide both sides by 2, x equals 3. Can anybody think of another equation that's multiplication? Um, where my answer would be 3. Michael? 15x equals 5. Okay, you're close. Switch it. Oh, 5 equals 15. 5. No, 5x five equals 15. Yes, very good. 5x equals 15. Does everybody agree that if I divided both sides by 5, my answer would be 3? x equals 3. Okay. Ooh, I know. All right. Anybody else have an equation where you could write the equation and your answer would be 3? Mason? Uh, 6x equals 18. Yes, very good because 18 divided by 6 is what? Three. It's 3. Let's do one more. Uh, Connor? Um, 3x plus 12 minus 18 equals 3. Oh, my goodness. Plus 12 minus 18, and then 3 is on the other side? Okay, so, oh my goodness, 3x, I think this is going to work out, minus 6 equals 3, add 6 to both sides, okay, I got a big smile on my face right now, 3x equals 9, oh my goodness, Connor, X equals 3. How in the world? That is amazing. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, you do not have to do that on your quiz. I'm just looking for the basic one. Just basic, okay? You do that, Connor. All right, here's what we're going to do on the quiz. If you give me a multi-step equation that has that answer, I will give you a bonus. I'll give you a bonus. Okay, because that's very impressive. All right, do you think he deserves bonus if he pulls that off? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so that's really good, guys. Um, that concludes our uh, test review, our quiz review. And um, you need to watch this over the weekend. It's right at just shy of 15 minutes. 15 minutes out of your weekend. Just watch this again to warm up for your quiz coming up on Monday.